had to answer him. He kind of threw me off a little bit. <laughs> How many times in the past did you actually find yourself in one-on-one -on -one situations? I feel like it had to be kind of rare. Oh, yeah, it, it was rare because, you know, being that guy that, you know, that's a big body in the post, they can score real well, you know, they kind of key in on you. And, you know, that double team, it always comes. But it was kind of rare. But now I think, you know, it can, we can kind of space the floor a little bit more and get some things inside also. Coach mentioned Demetrius playing the four spot. Uh, what have you seen from him? How comfortable do you think he is in that? I believe he's a very good, like, athlete as well as, like, rebound the ball. Like, his jumping ability is just amazing. So, with him... Uh, with like people have to key in on blocking him out, that gives me more of an opportunity. Okay, if he can't get it, then it's my turn to get the rebound. And if I can't get it, you know, then he has the leaping ability to go get the rebound. You talked about those guards, but it just you look at how talented and how deep they are, and how important it is to have some guards like Chicken and Malik and Q, and, and just the talent and depth that they have. Oh yes, in this league, I mean, it's very important to have uh, guards like that because, like I said, it opens up the floor like tremendously. And, you know, we need that into this league going into a season where we're expected to finish, like, probably, like, top five, as I've seen, you know, like, uh, in various sources. Travis mentioned that uh, Maroon Madness kind of got you guys talking a little bit about the atmosphere in, inside the hump and what it could be like and, and things. That oh, yeah, so the, the atmosphere should be. I, I really hope and I truly believe that it would be a great atmosphere this year. You know, I mean, the last three seasons, you know, it was a it was a good atmosphere. But I believe this season going into our last year with me, Travis, you know, Chick, Fred, and Johnny, and I believe it should be a good last year for us. What's that mean like? What would that be like for you to have, you know, here in your hometown to have a pack comp? Oh, I mean, that would be amazing. That would, you know, have me, you know, energized and ready because I feed off the fans. Like I said to uh, Fred, you know, whatever he does, whichever move he is, I feed off him. And that's the same way with the crowd. If the crowd is up and pumping, then, you know, I'm, I'm like the incredible hog. You know, I'm ready to go, you know, fire it up. <laughs> Gavin, yeah, when you look at this front court, obviously depth is not as many guys as you have in the back court with depth. I asked Johnny the same question. A lot of, of y'all's success this year relies on how well you guys do. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, just like any other game coming to our preparation, you know, scouting report, the way we handle ourselves in practice on and off the court, you know, just sets us up for either a win or a loss. It just, I've been talking to the guys, the way we prepare for a game, you know, will allow us to, you know, have an edge or have a disadvantage in winning the game. Coach Allen talked about how vital you were for the offense. How conscious do you have to be about staying out of foul trouble this year? Oh, very conscious. You know, I have to learn how to play with my feet rather than my hands because I've seen it in practice. I was kind of reaching a little bit more again, you know, uh, titty tat foul. So, you know, this year I want to make sure, you know, I just stay sound with my defense and just start moving my feet a little bit more defensively so I won't have to have those little small fouls and then end up getting in foul troubles that compromises our offense. And a lot of times during the off season, we, we focus a lot of the, on your body. And you just, how do you feel going into this year? Has it changed from year to year? Oh yes, sir. I mean, I'm able to get up and down the floor faster, able to rim run, and also, you know, after you run about two minutes, you be winded, and then you then you have no time, you know, like call for the ball. But now two minutes of running, you know, I'm still able to post up, call for the ball, and execute.